at this time, um, uh, we are we're making every effort to raise the levees before the Army Corps of, of Engineers continues to release water. Um, they are going to increase the flow rate, we understand, by Thursday. Why don't you help me just start taking some stuff out to the driveway, Kip? We have uh, people from the church and friends and family here helping us move everything out. We're moving everything from the basement and main floor. The governor is suggesting by Thursday we're out. It's not mandatory that we know so of as of yet. Possibly out for the next one to two months. Sounds like the whole Dakota Dunes is possibly going to be evacuated. We have seven-year-old twins. We have a dog. We don't know what we're going to do. We, we haven't planned that yet. It's just right now, minute by minute. Okay. So you're going to take it right outside then? Yeah, okay. Now we want to protect your homes, um, and, and do, we're doing our very best. Our team just got here. Um, was ordered by the state to assist down here. Tonight, we are going to continue to build levee, and, uh, and folks, we're going to run day and night here um, until we, until we uh, get to a point where where uh, it, we feel that it's, un it's unsafe for our operations and unsafe for the public, and we will make be going door to door at that point and uh, and evacuating people. Tomorrow morning, uh, at 0800 hours, a UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter from the South Dakota National Guard will be here on site. So um, we are going to set bags just like we did in Fargo before in, uh, in a hopes that we can get 10 foot of levee built in that 1400 uh, foot uh, uh, area where it's, uh, uh, it's a weak spot for us.